Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We're rolling up to a Sunday, the second week of Batch 2, and I just want to talk about it a little bit. Is footies getting boring? Again, the second week of Batch 1 was definitely a bit quieter, and again, we're feeling kind of the same kind of vibes with Batch 2 and the second week happening this week. The same cards are in packs, albeit they are better packs, but the content just seems to be, mm, right, just not amazing. I know it can't be amazing all the time, but we've had some amazing content as a part of footies, and it's just, we've had solid content. It's just, it's just not hitting amazing at the moment. Now, of course, there still could be a lot of content that comes out this week. There's still been a lot of good cards released lately, but the Icon Upgrade SBC that was released yesterday, again, not very good. The Draft Token SBC not being re um re-released, re-upped like the 85 times 10 was. That's a bit of a letdown. So we're just going to talk about that a little bit. I'm not trying to put a damper on things today. All I'm saying is it's the second week. It is maybe going to be a little bit, I guess, less exciting in the second week. That's how it was the first time around of the second week of batch two, if that makes sense, because these batches are for two weeks at a time. And then, of course, as batch three comes, as we get later on towards this end of the week, which we'll talk about, uh, Batch 3 is going to be exciting. It's going to be a very exciting Friday with those new cards in packs. But also today, we're probably going to see some more drop-offs. I want to talk about content that we can see and movements that we can see on the market today on Sunday and also what went on yesterday on the game. Saturday, I think yesterday was probably one of the most quiet Saturdays that we have had of footies. Now, we had this Curtis Jones footies favorite SBC, which definitely this card is indeed a favorite. He was an insane Future Stars item that was released back earlier in this year of February. But when I look at this card, I mean, yeah, it looks really, really good. The links are great. I even think the price is pretty good. Um, but I feel like the people that are only doing this SBC are Liverpool fans, guys that really feel a connection with Liverpool or with Curtis Jones or with the English nationality with those links which is there's no problem with. But again, you look at this footbin like to dislike ratio. I think people wanted to see more of a stat boost for a 94 rated card. Yes, he's almost club 90. But even at this stage in the game, uh, I think we wanted to see a little bit more of a boost. Just go crazy with it, EA Sports, right? That's the thing right now with this card. You have guys like Acuna in midfield. You have guys like Verratti that this Curtis Jones has to kind of compete with as a midfielder slash defensive mid, albeit different body types in both those players. You know, he's kind of competing with those kind of cards on the market, and he just does not match up to those players. So I think the biggest, I guess, issue with this Curtis Jones card is if you take a look, this 94 footies item has 83 reactions, and the 88 rated center mid version also has 83 reactions. So not even a single stat value upgrade there on that card. If you look at a lot of the different individual stats here, he did get plus 11 dribbling. The agility balance is going to make him feel probably a lot more cleaner on the ball. But again, at this stage of the game, probably needs a little bit better stats. If they would have given at least like a plus two, three, or maybe even four to all of the rest of the stat categories on top of this boost, I think a lot more people would be excited about this item uh, because he is an exciting talent in the Premier League. And of course, this 88, I mean, this this SBC, look at the number of upvotes on this SBC, man. 400,000 coins um, back in February when this was released. And at the time, this was an incredible, incredible card. So, um, you know, he, he was even four star, four star back then. No skill move or weak foot upgrade for this item, uh, which would have been nice to have as well. So I think people were just wanting a little bit more out of that Curtis Jones SBC that was released yesterday. Now, also, we have the 92 plus icon moments player pick, the exact same SBC that just expired yesterday. They re upped it. The exact same thing, nothing new about it. Still the same eight squad requirements. I was dumb enough to actually do that SBC with some of the extra fodder in my club. I know it was not a smart decision. I got Desai. If you guys saw on the Foot Account and Clips channel, by the way, cheeky plug, sub to that channel if you have not already. Um, I packed Desai from that grind. And I probably shouldn't have, right? I shouldn't have done it. I would have been way better off doing Sane, maybe even doing Depay with the same amount of coins and getting a better card. But I wanted to risk it for the biscuit and have some fun. And um, I, I did not have some fun because EA Sports did not give me good pack weight, pack luck. But it is what it is. That was our content yesterday, man. That was it. That's why I mentioned that it was kind of a quiet Saturday. Now, preview pack wise, they did run lightning rounds again. They ran the exact same lightning rounds as they did on Friday, but they changed the last pack. Instead of doing an 88 plus star rare mega preview pack, they came out with just a 50k pack, which of course did not supply the market as much 
as that 88 plus did. Now, yesterday you did see a lot of prices falling on the market, especially in the Bundesliga side of things, which was 100% expected. Case in point, example number one, numeral uno is Goretzka, 328,000 coins. He's not done yet, right? He is not done. Of course, Friday, we talked about it. Thursday night, Friday morning was going to be the peak time to sell these cards at their highest. If you were going to use Bundesliga items in the weekend league, definitely buying them later in the weekend. Um, and, and, you know, or at least selling some of the cards after you play a few games Friday then buying them back at cheaper points later on was definitely the move. I expect all this Bundesliga stuff to keep going down today on Sunday. That's just the trend that it follows. Now, again, what we've seen the past few weeks as well is watch out for these really um, rare cards. Guys like Goretzka, people are using the Sonic card. They're really hyped about that item. The Vitzel, the Akanji, the Moynier. People are still hyped about those cards that have just come out. So there could be some of these cards, the rare ones, like Lewandowski, Davies, um, Sancho, Kimmich, Goretzka, like I mentioned, some of these Bundesliga cards could actually rebound up out of tonight on uh, Sunday night into Monday morning has been a very, very low time. The past couple of weeks, it's been a very, very low time on the market where you've seen a lot of stuff get low and then kind of rebound up from there. That is kind of th something you could be looking at tonight is just some of the panic selling on those cards and the maybe even the supply from preview packs as these items are still in packs. And whatever kind of content we get today, if it is hype, could push them a little bit lower. So if you want to try to make some investment flips, or if there's any of these cards that you want for your team for the next couple of days, maybe you try to snag them then. Same thing with the out-of-packs cards. Again, I've honestly seen Sunday nights the past couple weeks uh, have been incredible for trading. Sunday nights, Monday mornings, uh, usually on Mondays we get some sort of league-specific player pick, um, and then stuff just kind of rebounds back up because the content is just okay. So... That's one thing that I'd be really looking at uh, today slash tonight on the market, whether it's out of packs cards or in packs team of the seasons. I'd be watching that for today on our Sunday. Now, speaking along those lines, let's talk about first. Let's talk about content today on Sunday, right? Of course, upgrade SBCs and icon player SBCs are the basic. Um, it's basically what we've been getting every single Sunday. Now, of course, there's two names that have been thrown around for the potential SBC we could be getting today. Maldini and Vieira are the two cards that we're kind of expecting, quote unquote. Um, so keep an eye out for some of those items via SBC. Maldini, I believe on the market is like somewhere around like 2 mil or like 1.7, 1.8 million coins for his Icon Moments card. 1.9 right now at the moment, but lately he's been, yeah, he's been right around that 2 mil range. So 1.9 million coins. If they release this SBC, a good value one like they did for Cruyff last week, I don't know how much hype there would be with a Maldini SBC unless it's like literally half the price. If this SBC comes in at like, you know, nine, eight, eight to 900,000 coins, that is very craftable. That's almost the same price I think that like Eto was. So if you imagine that Eto SBC craft, um, I think there'd be a lot of hype for a Maldini if he is around that same price, if Eto is still available. Okay, Eto is 500K, I'm off there, wow. I mean, if they priced Eto at 500K, then absolutely, uh, that would be an SBC a lot of people would be interested in. So hopefully they give Maldini a good price today if it is his card. The other option for uh, what people are thinking could come out today would be Vieira. Um, Vieira's Moments card would also be one that a lot of people would be interested in. And if they price this similar to Cruyff, because he's kind of in Cruyff's price range or where Cruyff was when the SBC for his player item was dropped, hopefully somewhere around, again, like that 1.5 mil range or below. Cruyff's at 133 right now as high-rated fodder has continued to drop off. But I think that a Vieira SBC would be a little more well-received by the whole FIFA community and FIFA audience more than a Maldini. But both of those could be nice today depending on the price. Sunday is also upgrade pack day. Now, that's one thing that we talked about last week is that we were hoping for upgrade packs that required non-rares that would give us something to craft non-rares into because non-rares are still cheap. They're basically four, five, 450, 500 coins a pop. Uh, and we have all of these rare gold cards that are still so inflated on the market because, again, uh, for the SBCs that they're releasing right now, a lot of them are requiring these rare gold squads, 80 rated teams, 79 rated teams. And it's just, it's really, really requiring a lot of those items, especially with that 85 times 10 being re-released. So much of the game right now is just people doing these SBCs and crafting them, buying rare golds. And that's why those cards are continuing to stay up in price. So if we have something today, please EA Sports, that would give us a pack that would require mostly non-rares. Yo, what is going on right now in the store? Look at this player type. What is this? Player rarity 29. 
what in the world is this? I don't know what that is. There's the Beckham card you can search uh, on the market as well. I think there's something messed up with this right now, man, because there's FGS swaps, tokens, footies, nominee. This is like all the different card types. Locked items. What is going on, man? What are these? Yo, <laughs> my transfer market is bugging out right now. This is pretty nuts. FOF Nation player. It's basically like the club search. Uh, I don't know if they're messing. Premium. What is this? Pro player card. Any pro player cards in the market? <laughs> Man, I don't know what's going on with this right now, but it's definitely kind of bugging out, messed up a little bit. I don't think that's anything to read into, to be completely honest. Uh, it's basically these are the same exact card types you see when you go into the uh, club search. But anyways, uh, that's kind of nuts. That's like all the different card types in the game. But anyways... When talking about rare cards, I do think that it would be just so nice to see something on the market today that would just be a way to grind rares. Like a, an SBC that, that requires non-rares, uh, that would be some sort of better upgrade pack than the current gold upgrade, which of course is what a lot of people are doing to craft right now. You can buy gold non-rares at 450 um, and 80 I don't know, man, like some sort of some sort of gold upgrade pack that gives you rare golds more than two or uh, like an 80 plus player pick, maybe that requires just non rares. That'd be something I guess they could put out or something like that. Just another SBC to craft with non rares. Um, I don't really know if I expect the 81 plus player pick because the 81 plus is what we had last week. And I believe that happened in week one of footies batch one is that we had the 81 plus player pick and then after that we had like the 82 plus or something that was not hype at all or some other SBC that I forget that was not good so hopefully we get some sort of like 83 to 87 upgrade that requires non-rares or um something along the lines of like an 80 plus player pick I think EA knows that we that people in FIFA really like the player picks but when rares are 2.5k a pop I'm not paying that I really am not paying that especially when you have this 85 times 10 that is out that is just so much more craftable and uh, good value, I guess you could say, than a lot of this other stuff. This SBC coming in at 150,000 coins for it, I mean, it's just 80, 85 times 10. You're getting at least 85 rated card times 10. 85s right now are 9K a piece. So you're basically getting, you know, 90K of value at the bare minimum. And you guys know you're getting TOTS cards out of this. You're at least getting one card that's like 90 rated nine times out of 10. So these are well worth it for the craft, and especially when you hit some of those big team of the season players, they're just so much fun to do. That's kind of be the grindable con that's kind of going to be the grindable content this week. Um, so again, I really hope that an upgrade pack today will bring out some very nice sort of upgrade pack that will help people with that craft. Um, objective wise, we do have two available right now. We've got the Akanji and the Dynamic Duo. I really wouldn't expect a lot more in here, TBH, this week. Unless they dropped another milestone. But EA, you have to re-release this draft token thing, man. This milestone's footies draft day objective is out for 30... What is it? 33 more days? 33 days. Look at this up here. 33 days this is available for. And uh, I, I'm in my last draft. Like, you know, I don't think I actually have a draft. I lost today. So, I don't know, man. I really hope to see this come back because I would like to continue doing the footies draft day's objectives. And uh, if you're giving this 33 days left... I mean, I think you should keep that draft token thing alive as well, especially since we're in the late game. And uh, how can you expect everybody to stock up on those, you know, at the, to, before that goes away to continue doing this, this objective? So that is my thing right there. I wish they would re-release that. That'd be a cool part of Sunday's content today. Uh, usually Sundays, I don't really think we get player SPCs. I mean, we've had Sané, we have had El Sharawi and Curtis Jones. I'm really not expecting a player SPC today. Maybe tomorrow on Monday, uh, we had the Memphis Depay, of course. Maybe we'll get another transfer SBC um, on Monday. We'll see about that, of course, unless we get something today. But uh, yeah, Sunday content is always an interesting one. It's all about the upgrade pack and whatever icon they release. And then, uh, you know, you have your preview packs as well. So again, I do want to take a look at though, and you think about it this way. Some people are probably going to start investing this week and try to make some coins off of the potential next week, Weekend League Plus objective, because there's literally, if they're going to do this again, there's only two ways they can go. We've done Premier League, we've done Bundesliga and La Liga. We have Syria or Ligue 1 that we could go with. Now we thought it might be Serie A last week, then it kind of surprised us with the Bundesliga, but I think what you're going to see are Serie A cards and League One cards maybe pick up a little bit in price in the next day or two, Sunday night into Monday morning. If you want to get ahead of the game, I would say start watching some of your Serie A cards 
Since we had El Sharawi, some people might start investing there first. Just keep along the lines of some of those Serie A cards that are hyped up that are a part of maybe Summer Stars, um, you know, like Chiesa, like Chiellini. We've had a lot of really good items released because of um, Italy doing well in the Euros. We've got the um, the Mailman card, the, the Melee left back. I call him the Mailman. Jo Joachim, the Danish guy. Lukaku special card. A lot of attention on him right now with his move to Chelsea. Uh, Locatelli, of course. You've got him in there. You've got Spinazzola. I mean, you got a lot of cards here. Um, the Verratti's Italian, not um, in the Serie A, but even the Sanchez card is a really, really nice item. The Ericsson Objective, Marata, Rebic. People would use these cards and you would see them rise in price if there would be a Serie A weekend league. Delict 100%. That was a card I was looking at last week when we thought last week was going to be Serie A. So I think more people would turn to Serie A instead of League One until we get confirmation on Monday of what league player pick comes out. I think today on Sunday might be a day to get ahead of the curve if you want to try a little bit of a speculative investment. I would kind of look into some of those cards. You know, you could probably buy both from either either um, either league and then whichever one would go up, you would definitely make some profit because people would start investing uh, because people love those red player picks, especially with those footies. Um, Ultimate Champions upgrades being re-released yesterday, which was nice. Um, we now have those back in the game that people can grind. So again, watch the panic selling for today. Kind of keep an eye on those areas. We will see what content comes out icon wise and upgrade pack wise. But again, right now in this game, it's all about the upgrade pack grind. And that's going to be the focus later on this week. It says 85 times 10. How many can you stack? Do you want to try to stack or finish crafting cards before Friday? Because Friday, this Friday is going to be the culmination of FIFA 21. In my opinion, this Friday and the next couple days after it is going to be basically the last dance for FIFA. I don't know what they're going to do kind of in late August heading into September, but Weekend League's probably going to be done as we get to September, which is basically when this promo ends. Uh, two more weeks after this coming Friday will be like the end end. So that is my opinion. I think this Friday is going to be kind of the end all for a lot of this stuff. And uh, yeah, it'll be very interesting to see what happens then. But I know a lot of people are grinding right now. They're having fun on the game. It's maybe getting a little boring and a little bit stale, which is why I wanted to talk about that today, because I sense that too. And maybe you've been sensing it for a couple of weeks, but especially right now, even with the footies grind, it's starting to get a little bit that way. So that's the video for today, boys. Happy Sunday. I hope you're enjoying your weekend. Hope your weekend leagues are going well. I'm staying far away far away from that weekend league. Uh, that is not something that I want to take part in right now in this game, but I respect it if you are grinding. No shame, all right? I know it's August, but no shame. It's a very fun time. There's a lot to do and grind on FIFA at the moment. So if you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.